Let's start by disassembling the screen. There's six little rubber bumpers that here on the frame, but we only need to move the remove the four external ones. So these are just held by little um, rubber cement. You can just peel those off and set them aside. Just each of the corners. And there's the little screws on each side, little Phillips head screws. We'll take those out. And then the easiest way I've found to take the frame apart is just put your fingernails in between the plastic frame and the actual screen and then just pry that apart. We've got it pretty loose here. It's just and then the screen will come forward. Now I've got a cable here kind of attaching the two. So we can just pry this apart and I'm just loosening up the cables. There's a cable here for the, uh, the uh, camera. So we'll pry that up so the screen from that has come apart. Next there's a series of six tiny little screws, three on each side holding the glass into um, the actual frame of the uh, laptop. So we're going to remove those. glass should come loose. And the only thing we need to worry about is the cable at this point. So we can kind of bring it forward. Okay, here's a better angle, but you're going to find a piece of scotch tape taped across this hole where the connector is. So we're going to disconnect the connector and pull the scotch tape off. And it's still connected to the screen there and then we can just lift the old screen out. Set that aside. Grab your new screen. Gently put it in here. And we're going to have to connect this cable back up and then put the uh, with the scotch tape. So I'm just going to pull the tape off at the moment. It's kind of coming apart. I may go with another piece. So you're going to grab the cable. This is all your data and your video that comes through this cable and that slips up inside that connector. Now once you've got the connector lined up, you can basically pinch it together make sure that it's kind of seated really well. I'm going to take this tape because you want that to hold in case the laptop gets bounced around anymore. So that's going to hold the connector in there and keep it from falling out. Okay, then the next steps are to replace the, uh, the six little screws that go along the side of the frame. Okay, I've set the laptop up on its edge and that will keep me, help me see the uh, holes that I'm lining up. 
you know, keep the screws from trying to balance horizontally. Don't over tighten the screws. Nice and tight. Okay, then we can start snapping the frame back. There's a couple little tabs that you, there's little pins here that you, plastic pins that you want to line up and that makes sure the frame is, then we basically snap our frame back together. All the way around, you want to make sure there's no gaps. Otherwise, you've got a little bit of a problem someplace if there's a gap. Okay. We've got that all snapped together. We replace our four screws on the corners. Tighten that up. Hopefully there's still enough little rubber cement on your buttons. If not, go ahead and invest in some of that rubber cement and put it on there because these actually help your screen from coming in contact with the base portion of your laptop. And basically that's done. Turn on our power. And there's our screen. So we've got a brand new screen on. Remember to dispose of your old screen properly. A lot of uh, communities now have uh, rules and regulations on how to dispose of electronics. So be sure and do that. Thank you very much.